All right, folks, as the seasons are getting ready to change, you may be asking, what do I do with my plants now, or what can I be planting? Uh, because my buddy Rick Hobson of Jericho Nursery says that we can plant all year round, right? Is that we just, we got to make sure that we're doing the right stuff. That's correct. You mm -hmm. can plant in Albuquerque. I won't say New Mexico, because northern parts of New Mexico sure. are probably not as true. But you can plant in Albuquerque 12 months a year. Mm -hmm. The best time to plant is right now. Right From now. now to the end of October, there's no spring winds, mm -hmm. there's no oncoming summer heat, plants are much more forgiving, mm -hmm. the humidity's up, the ground is wet. I mean, fall is the best time to plant. Fantastic. Yeah. So uh, you brought a lot of different plants here. You brought some veggies. Uh, so let's talk about some of these plants that you say are really ideal to, to put in the ground now. You know what's fun about these, and this all of this stuff can go in now, and it'll all take a light frost. So this stuff, and the pansies will bloom September, October, November, probably into December. Mm -hmm. Look a little weak in January, but come right back and bloom February, March, April, May. So these pansies here on the edges mm -hmm. are going to bloom longer than anything else you ever buy. So I think they're misnamed. You know, we <laughs> yeah, exactly. It should be uh, tough guys. Because yeah, yeah. they're tough as nails. And then the mums and the snapdragons and the alyssum and the dianthus, this will mm -hmm. all go for a couple of months mm -hmm. easily. And these kale, great fun. This is ornamental. It's mm -hmm. real bitter. You wouldn't want to eat it. Oh, okay. okay. This will hold just like this all winter long. Really? Just like that. So in January, you come home and that kale gets bigger. If you plant now, it'll get bigger and head up. Mm -hmm. And that head will hold all winter. So wow. you put that at the back, you put some pansies around and the little mm -hmm. violas, and you've got color all winter long. That's with great. very little effort. That's great. And yeah. that's, that's also, for me, that's important because I usually kill mine. If you're novice and you want to get started, start in the wintertime with some pansies because mm -hmm. they're so rewarding and so easy to do. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. So now let's talk about this. Of course, uh, we were talking, we started our week off here on Tucasa with the Ice Bucket Challenge, and I understand you did the Ice Bucket Challenge as well. Uh, so let's first, I think we're going to have some video of you taking the Ice Bucket Challenge. Yeah. You stepped your game up, too. You used a rain barrel. We, yeah, we did. Uh, you know, I always have to go big or go home. Mm. So my wife and my manager wanted to challenge me on Wednesday. They said, we're going to challenge you. Wednesday night I get home, and my son has Facebook challenged me, and he does the bucket. Mm. So, of course, I have to do it bigger. Right. You'll see. You can go to JerichoNursery.com and watch the whole thing. I think you're going to just see excerpts mm. today. Mm. The forklift is as high as this thing above our head. There's a 65-gallon rain barrel. The, the two women in the video just run right away. <laughs> I have to step into the water. That's probably what they're seeing now. Uh -huh. It's 50 or 60 gallons of water. It's great fun. Now, what I did and wanted to make sure that people know, this is for a good cause. Yeah, it's not just water on our heads and looking good and having fun. That's part of it. Mm -hmm. Bringing awareness to what ALS is. Donating money? Oh my gosh, more money that's ever been raised. Yeah. So my challenge to my staff was, okay, I'm going to do this big rain barrel. Anybody on my staff that does the rain barrel challenge this Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, public is welcome. Come on in, come see it in mm -hmm. front of our Pan American store. Jericho will donate 50 bucks for every person on my staff that does the challenge. I got 20 employees. That's great. And one of the girls said, if I do a rain bucket, will you donate 100? <laughs> there you go. So the answer is yeah? Yeah, the answer is yeah. So there you go. 50 bucks for a bucket, 100 bucks for a rain barrel. Anybody that gets a rain barrel dumped on him. So a couple thousand bucks is coming out of Jericho's pocket to support a great fundraiser yeah. to get all of our awareness up and what this is actually yeah. for. Absolutely. All right. Well, Rick, thanks for doing that. So, yeah, Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, the Pan American location. Right. It's just off of I-25, the San Mateo exit. It's very easy to find. Go on in, watch uh, watch the employees uh, take the ice bucket challenge, and pick up some pansies, pick up some kale while you're there. It'll cool. be a lot of fun. All right, for now, we're going to head back into Brittany.